everyone, welcome to my channel, The Mental Traveler. I'm Carol Herrera and today I shall be reviewing the first season of the TV series Victoria that came out in August 2016. It has eight episodes and it has already been renewed for a second season as well as a Christmas special that will both come out in 2017. Victoria is historical fiction written by Daisy Goodwin and it starts Gina Coleman in the title role along with Rufus Sewell, Tom Hughes and many many more. Before I begin though I, sh I should say that this will be a review with spoilers in the sense that I shall I'll be referring to events that happened to Victoria's life after the events we've seen in season one or even things that happened before or even things that happened to Victoria during her childhood and were not addressed in season one but will be dealt with in later seasons. So as I've said in other videos, not only am I a big Anglophile, but I love the British royal family. I have a family tree in the wall of my room of them dating back to the 1700s. I was really familiarized with the story of Victoria since long before this TV series. I've seen a lot of movies and in case you're interested to watch more about her, I would recommend you to see the movies The John Victoria, Mrs. Brown and the TV series Victoria and Albert and Edward VII. It covers the years of Victoria since she becomes queen at the age of 18 to her marriage to Prince Albert up to the moment when she gives birth to her first child. So taking into account that I already knew a lot about Queen Victoria, I think that this was a really good adaptation of her, of this specific time period of her life. It wasn't 100% historically accurate, but it did cover many things that other adaptations hadn't dealt with. And it does deliver what it appears at first sight, a very well done period drama that modern audiences will be drawn to. And I enjoyed watching Gina Coleman as Victoria because I thought she managed pretty well the transition between a young girl who has to become a queen and all the political issues she has to deal with to a young mother, to a determined ruler, a loving wife and most of all I could relate to her as a woman. And I also like that they focus on little details, for example Victoria being nice with one of her mates or getting frustrated and scared about giving birth or being completely unaware of what went on in a marriage bed even though she was already a queen because it shows just what a protective and repressive bringing up she had and this could later sort of manifest on the specific strict rules that define the Victoria era regarding sexuality for example and maybe even if some actors don't look 100% like the historical figures they're representing it was really well casted even those secondary storylines that deal with a maid and a chef falling in love with each other or how Prince Albert's brother falls in love with a married woman I really like those storylines and other secondary storylines that I liked could be when we see how it was Ron Buckingham Palace for the stuff or how the poor were living during this time period even if they didn't really go into much depth in the latter. I liked it and I am looking forward to watching more of Victoria which is why I give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars review. And also regarding my favorite bit in almost any storyline, the love stories. Okay so I really like Victoria and Albert and the portrayal of their relationship particularly at the start. I thought they captured as I've said really well how an experienced story was about men and so it was quite easy for her to fall so deeply in love with Prince Albert to the point where once he dies she she spends like 40 years of her life in mourning. And regarding the other love interest in Victoria's life in this first season, Lord Melbourne. In the first episodes we see her developing quite a strong infatuation with him because he's the first man that she can really connect with after she's been brought up in a really suppressive home. As a side note, Lord Melbourne is played by the handsome Rufus Sewell whom I've loved ever since I was a teenager. But anyways, I don't think that Victoria fell for Lord Melbourne in real life, but the way they portrayed it here made sense. Melbourne was this sort of handsome, tragic figure because of his sad past his wife had run off with the famous Lord Byron which broke up their marriage I don't know maybe he did feel something for Lord Melbourne that was sort of romantic in real life but I don't think she went as far as proposing to him as we see on the show and Lord Melbourne here he's so attractive because he does return Victoria's feelings but he puts his duty over his heart so he can't marry her even if this didn't happen in real life I thought it was a really well unbelievable alternative universe fanfiction 
description portrayal of their relationship so this was my review for Victoria season 1 I hope you all enjoyed it and I ask you to please let me know what you thought of it of the show and of my review or of the real people who are represented in here as I said there will be a second season and a Christmas special of Victoria and I shall be reviewing them as well in the meantime you can find a link to the IMDB page for Victoria and a trailer for the first season in the description box below with nothing else to add for the moment I bid you all a wonderful day thank you for watching this video I'm Carrera, the mental traveler see you soon